Good afternoon, class. I am Caleb Miller, and I am presenting our theologian project on Walther Eichrott, along with Casey Miller. Let's begin with a life overview. Eichrott was born on August 1st, 1890 in Grenzbach, Germany. He studied theology at the universities of Greifswald, Erlangen, and Heidelberg. He was influenced by Otto Prochstick, a Protestant theologian under whom he studied. He was the professor of Old Testament theology at the University of Basel from 1921 to 1966, and he died sadly in 1988. Let's take a look at his method of theological interpretation. Eichrott began his theological pursuits after World War I, which ended a period of progressive optimism and ushered in an era of disillusionment. Eichrott supported historical criticism methodologies to a certain extent, but he found the results troubling. He found comparative religion methodology troubling because he did not like the meticulous stripping of the Old Testament in order to discover its similarities to other Near East religions. He felt that this took away from the beauty of the Old Testament, taking away theology and leaving religion. His method continued. Eichrott's method was founded on two principles. First was that textual and historical criticism, including comparative religion study, needed to be balanced, that one could not be valued over the other. His second principle was that religion that was based in the Old Testament is self-contained entity, exhibiting, despite ever-changing conditions, a constant basic tendency and character. He believed that the Old Testament is very important, but that it finds its ultimate fulfillment in the New Testament and in the person of Jesus Christ. The Old Testament, he believed, was not a library of ever-evolving conceptions of God, but of various highlights of the same God. While he was primarily an Old Testament theologian, his method is applicable and reliant upon the entirety of Scripture. His contributions should be understood as contributions to the biblical category. He provided a biblical foundation for the neo-orthodoxy movement along with Karl Barth. And he shifted the hermeneutic dialogue away from being focused on anthropology into a more theologically focused conversation. These are the works cited, and that was Walter Eichrott.